Hey everybody, Mrs. Norris here. So today I'm going to walk you through lesson 6.1, Burger Menu. So with this lesson, we are opening up our new unit, which is Google Drawings. And um, with this unit, you'll be learning how to use the different tools to create different draw drawings on your Google Drive. So with this um, assignment, the burger menu, we're going to be using basic shapes and text boxes to create a visually appealing menu. I'm not going to go through the overview or the new skills. I feel like that's something that you can read to yourself on your own. So if you want to pause the tutorial and read the overview and the list of new skills on your own, you can do that. But what I do want to draw your attention to is what we're going to name our file, which is our first and last name and lesson 6.1. And then we want to make sure when we're done here that we um, download it as a PDF and submit it in Canvas. So those are the two things that I wanted to point out to you. Um, again, the overview and the new skills. If you want to pause the tutorial and read those to yourself, I invite you to do that now. All right, so um, it's not here because I'm making it at this moment, but we're going to have the tutorial open in one window and then our Google uh, Drive open in another. So if you haven't set up your desktop yet, please do that for me now. All right, so on my Google Drive, I'm going to go ahead and open up that CAD folder. And we are working now on my drawings. So I'm going to go ahead and open the My Drawings folder. And I'm going to create a new Google Drawing. So again, new Google Drawing. And before I do anything, I want to name it my first um, or complete my first task, which is to name it with my first and last name. and uh, colon <clears throat> lesson 6.1. All right, so with Google Drawings, if you've never really used them or have had them explained to you, you're gonna open up with the pixelated drawing in front of you. And the pixelated drawing in front of you, those gray and white squares are the different or the pixel sizes or the number of the amount of space the uh, file will take up as a picture. So if we didn't do anything to it and just left it the way that it was and started drawing on it, everything outside of the drawing that is still with this pixelated picture should show up transparent, which means it's not going to be there. Um, but what we're going to do, excuse me, this time around is we are going to change the background color. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click background and we're going to change the background color to white. Okay, this is mine here. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, the first thing that we're going to do after changing our background color, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert word art. So we're going to go to insert word art. And you'll see we have a dialog box here. And let's type in that dialog box the words crazy, capital C, burgers, with a Z on the end. Okay, so after you type crazy burgers, then you go ahead and hit enter, and it will insert that word art for you. Okay. Now the blue box around it with the little blue squares, um, for example, in this corner or right here, that means that that word art is selected and any changes we make are going to apply to that word art. So we want that word art to stay selected. And if there's an, um, a mistake or we need to change the spelling, if we double click, then our little dialog box will open up again. We make whatever change we need to make and then we hit enter. Okay. So we're going to change the font to impact. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, my font selector and I'm going to look for impact. Okay. And then we want to change the fill color. So I'm going to go to the fill. You can see right now that it's like a light blue. We don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on fill color 
and I'm going to change it to dark orange one. So I kind of need to look for that dark orange one, which is right here. Third one up from the bottom. Okay. And now while it's still selected, we're going to change the line color. So right here, our border color or our line color, we're going to change that to dark red berry three. So there's one, two, three. It doesn't really look like it made much of a change, just a slight one. Okay, but we do want to make that line weight. So how thick or thin the line is around the words, we want to make it a little bit heavier. So we're going to go to our border weight selector and we're going to select three pixels. And now you can see that change between the black and the dark red. Okay, now <clears throat> what we're going to do, you see that your cursor has turned into the um, four sided arrow. That means that we can now move this object around the screen. So I want to move it. And now we have our little red line. We want that red line to be there. Okay, because that's the center. That means it's um, horizontally centered on the page. And so I want to move it up to the top here. I'm going to move it to about right here and then making sure that the red line going um, vertically is present the way it is right now that tells me that horizontally the object is object is centered so i'm going to let go and the picture moves to there okay now we're done with the um, word art for now so i'm going to go ahead and click anywhere on the white and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert a table. So we're going to insert a table with three columns and one row. So insert table, three columns, one row. Okay. Now we are going to resize that table. <clears throat> so that it's larger than what we've got here. We have a couple of different ways that we can resize it. We can resize it um, to be wider or thinner using these side marks here, these, these side handles, or we can resize it going up and down, taller and shorter using these resizing handles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up to about there. Okay, let me, I'm going to check my end drawing to make sure I'm doing this correct. And then I'm going to pull down to about here. Okay. And then if I want to make sure that this is centered as well, if I move my cursor so that my four arrows show up again, I can make sure that it's centered. Okay. The other thing that you can do is while an object is, um, selected. So right now the table is selected. It's got the blue line around it to let me know. I can also go to arrange center horizontally and it will center it horizontally. If I go to arrange center and then vertically, it'll move it up and down and I don't want that. So I'm going to command Z to take it back to where it was. So that's pretty much where I want it to be. So I'm going to leave it in that spot there. Okay. So we've resized our table. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to insert a shape and we want to insert a rounded rectangle. We don't need to um, um, uh, make our cursor show up. I, I'm just going to select the table. So again, if I let my cursor turn into the four arrows and I click it, then I've selected the whole table. Okay. So we are going to insert a shape. Okay, the shape that we want to do is a rounded rectangle. So here's a regular rectangle. We want a rounded rectangle. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to delete to get rid of that. Sorry. Let's try again. So insert, shape, shape rounded rectangle and we want to make it so that if i click and drag it's about this size here okay we're going to center it in a moment 
All right, we're gonna change the fill color to the dark orange. We're gonna change the line color to the dark red. And, oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted, the line color. How about that? To uh, dark, dark red berry three. And we're going to change the line weight to three. Okay. Now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to add text to this. So I'm going to double click inside and you can see that now a cursor has shown up to let me know that um, I'm going to be adding text to this. So I'm going to type the word cheese. Okay. We want to make it horizontally centered, so we want it to be in the center of the screen. So I'm going to go to my alignment and I'm going to make it centered. Okay. And then we want to change the font color to dark red berry. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to text color. And I'm going to change it to dark red berry three. So it matches the line. And I want to change the font to impact as well and the size to 20. So I'm going to change the size to 20. And the font to impact. Okay, now we need more of these. So rather than make a new one every single time, I'm going to go ahead and click. And then I'm going to um, copy. And then I'm going to paste. I think it might have gone behind here. Let's try pasting it here. Nope. <laughs> Didn't want that either. So I need to copy this whole picture. So let's try this again. Copy. Paste. Nope. We're having an issue here. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and see what's going on, and I'll come back to you in just a sec. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, so I figured out what we did wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the picture, and I'm going to cut it. Okay? Now, I need to click somewhere outside of my table. So we didn't want to put it exactly in the table. We wanted it on the picture. So I'm going to click somewhere outside on the white and I'm going to paste. And there it is. Now, if I do it again, paste again, where'd it go? Paste. There we go. So again, let's try, let, let me just show you that one more time. Okay. <clears throat> If I try to do it inside the table, it's just gonna put the word. So what I need to do is click somewhere out on the white. So in the white area of my picture, I'm gonna paste it. And then I'm gonna move it so that it's centered as best as I can. Okay. And then I'm gonna do it again, click somewhere on the white and then paste again. And I want it to be lined up just like that. So you can see that I have a line on the top and a line going to, I have a line vertically up and down and I have a line horizontal. So it's right where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna do it one more time, click somewhere on the white and then command V and do it again. Cause I want one for each of these. So again, I'm gonna kind of align these and using the blue lines to kind of show that the spacing is even. Now I'm going to let go. Okay, so we're going to change cheese, second cheese, to toppings. Okay, and we're going to change the third cheese to sides. There we go. Now we're all good. <laughs> all right, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to vertically align our text in the table. Okay, so I'm going to click in the table here, and right now I can't see my cursor, so I need to vertically align it. So I'm going to go to my alignment, 
and I'm going to vertically align it. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. If I select and drag, now I've selected both columns and I can do the same thing. And now we have it there. Okay. We also want them to be center aligned in the middle of our table column. So it looks like a proper list. So I'm going to click and drag my mouse to select all three columns. And then I'm going to go to my alignment and I'm going to uh, select center. Okay. So now when I click on my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my, uh, cursor, it's in the middle of the column there, which is exactly where I want it to be. Okay. So we're going to type our topping or our cheese here. We have cheddar. Enter. American. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. American. Swiss. Pepperjack. Mozzarella and provolone. Now we're going to change the font. So if the font is different in the next column, that's okay. All right. Over here. Actually, let's do that now. So I'm going to select all of my cheeses. So if you haven't finished typing the cheeses, then pause. And now we'll move on. So we're going to um, change them to Verdana, the last one here, Verdana. We're going to change the size to 16. Okay. And we're going to make sure our font color is red berry, which it is. Um, let's just do regular red berry. There we go. So we're going to do the regular red berry for the text. Okay. So again, for Donna, 16 red berry. All right. So let's move on to toppings. We have lettuce, tomato, red onion, mushrooms, pickles, And bacon. And then I'm going to do my sides also. Chips. And then it's fine that the font is different. Onion rings. French fries. Coleslaw. Garden salad. And fresh fruit. So go ahead and make sure that you have all of your toppings and sides as well. If you need to pause the video to get that, then go ahead and then we'll come back together when you are done. Okay. okay, so we want, we do want our text to all look the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our text from the first column and then we're going to use our paint tool. And we're going to select the text in our second column. And then while it's still selected, we're going to use the paint roller again. And we're going to select the text in the third column. So now we have our text the same in all three lists. So again, make sure that you use your paint format roller. OK. So now what we're going to do is um, what do we want to do? Let me see. Oh, we're going to insert a text box. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text box icon, which is right here. OK, and we want to create a text box that goes from one end of the table to the other. Okay, and you can see using the blue lines that it's on the edge to edge of the table as well as the bottom edge of the table. The blue line with the um, 
lines on the sides show that it's the same size, the same length. So I'm going to go ahead and let go. Okay. We're going to do the fill box of this to red berry three. So I'm going to select that text box. So the cursor is gone. So again, select the text box and go to fill. And we want that dark red berry three. Okay. We want the line color to be dark orange one. And we want the line weight to be three. Okay. We're going to type the text, which we can't see right now, but we'll be able to see it in just a second here. Um, actually, I'm going to change the font first because you're not going to be able to see what the words are. So we're going to change the font to impact. So my cursor, I clicked here, or I double clicked to show my cursor. We're going to change it to impact 30. And if it resized, don't worry, I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And font color to dark orange one. Okay, now it did change the size. We want to, if you see here, it's got like the resize shape to fit text. If I click on that, I'm going to select do not auto fit. And then I can resize this back to where I wanted it to be. Okay. <clears throat> now I also want to horizontally align and vertically align my text. So I'm going to go while my cursor is selected, I'm going to go to alignment, center align, and middle align. Okay. Now I can type that text and you can see it. Capital G, go. Capital C, crazy. Capital B, building. Capital Y, your. Capital V, very. Capital O, own. Capital B, burger, with an exclamation point. Okay. So <clears throat> your picture should look similar to mine. Um, if I want to center align this, I can make sure that the red line is going up and down vertically. Okay. And once you're completely done with this, once you've got your um, menu items and your drawings and everything is done, then you can download this as a PDF, just like you would any other document in Google. If I go to file, download, PDF, then if I move my window, you'll be able to see that the PDF is here. If I open it up, there we go. Okay. And then this is what you are going to submit for grading into, um, into Canvas.